be addicted to bettering yourself. When you think about some of the great athletes and in so many sports, and I, 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 I think the perfect examples, I think for me, it's because I love basketball. You think about a lot of these kids, um, they go from high school to the pros. And obviously that's not the case now. You only have, you have to go one year, but just think about the kids that went, go from high school to, to the pros. You think about, uh, your Kevin Garnett, you think about your Kobe Bryant, uh, your LeBron James, um, Michael Jordan, he's one of the greatest. Uh, he didn't go from uh, high school to the pros, but he's considered, you know, obviously the greatest of, of all time. But when you think about what Michael Jordan did as setting the blueprint, especially for a guy like Kobe, he, who was a, at that point when he was alive, he was a living carbon copy of one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Uh, you think about what LeBron has done. Uh, he lived up to the expectation, lived up to the potential in which a lot of scouts and owners and GMs um, pegged him as. And so uh, that's why you look at Steph Curry. That's why you see these guys, they enhance upon their abilities and their, their potential. When you look at scouts and how they grade or evaluate talent, sometimes these scouts are way off base. Look at the, if you go back and look at some of the scouting reports of a guy like Steph Curry, uh, who's small frame. Another guy, Kevin Durant, they said these guys were, were not going to make it in the league. It was going to be tough. But these are some of the guys that are, I mean, they're lighting it up every night, uh, making it to uh, beyond the expectations of, you know, the playoffs, getting to the finals. Look at what Kevin Durant has done, even after the Achilles injury. Not to mention, you know, one of the greatest, uh, you know, basketball players, uh, you know, in LeBron James. Uh, look at what my, Michael Jordan did. Um, so again, when you think about these guys, um, these guys enhance their abilities. They go beyond and they exceed expectations because uh, it's that mindset of wanting to be great. Um, I think it's, I think Kobe said it best. And I think a lot of athletes uh, that are, you know, hovering around that stratosphere of, of being great and considered one of the greatest is that it's a relentless pursuit of greatness. If you just stay on course, It'll take you further than you can ever imagine. You know, I think for me personally, I, I, what set me apart, I think from everyone else is that my dedication and my discipline and just the execution of being consistent is what put me in a different stratosphere, just put me on a, a different level. And I think people were able to see that. Um, sometimes, like I said, I didn't want to just blend in. I wanted to stand out. When you start to become successful, you're not going to be 100% liked by everyone. There are so many layers and so many elements of being a professional athlete and, and being in that sport. Um, you're going to be subjected to criticism. You know, whether you do good or bad, people are going to talk about you, um, good, bad, or what have you. But you have to be strong, uh, strong-willed, and I think that's who and how I was. And I think a lot of that, like I said, stemmed from my the, the upbringing of my grandmother. But at the end of the day, I think an athlete, again, to get to where you want to be and the process in which it takes to get there, you have to be addicted to bettering yourself. You literally, you have to be, you have to be addicted to bettering yourself. And that's what I became. You have to have a relentless pursuit of really just perfection, greatness. Obviously it boils down to my three days, desire, dedication, and, and discipline. But at the end of the day, the essence of what I just said, you have to be addicted to bettering yourself. Honestly, be addicted to bettering yourself. Not for anybody else or anything else. You have to be addicted to bettering yourself if you want to achieve the level of success that you ultimately want to achieve. At some point in life, we're all gonna struggle. And I think that's what you're getting to. We're always, we're gonna be confronted with something. There's gonna be some obstacles um, that we feel that you know we can't over overcome or when you're on your path to success, there's always gonna be those roadblocks here and there. Um, it, it's just, it's a part of life. Um, and I think that's what's so rewarding when we do 
uh, achieve what we achieved is because of those failures, because of those struggles, because of those roadblocks. Uh, those roadblocks can come in different forms. It can be your own mental uh, roadblocks. It could be uh, just outside criticism. It could be media. It could be anything. It could be personal problems. It could be family problems. It could be something as simple as you driving, you, you get a flat tire. Uh, I mean, anything can, can, can trigger you and to try to get you off track. Those are struggles. Um, and then just from an athletic standpoint, um, that's going to happen. Um, and it's always, it, it's, it's really how you respond to it. So whether it's in business, uh, personal, uh, it's in sports, but at the end of the day, we're all going to struggle. I struggled, but I didn't quit. And that's what I encourage a lot of people to do. Just don't quit. Just, just don't give up. That's what I would say. People are going to judge you. They're going to misunderstand you. They're going to gossip about you. But I, I encourage people to really be strong-willed, to, to know that their opinions don't matter. Uh, their opinions are not your problem. Some people are able to really uh, rise above and beyond um, their circumstances, and there are some people that can't handle it. But that doesn't mean that they can't be great. They just have to approach it and deal with it the way that they feel uh, needed. No matter what is said or done, do not doubt your worth. Take us into your daily routines. How do you stay as disciplined as you are? Consistency is key, not only just in athletics or sports or what have you, but it's very key in, in, in every aspect of your life. And I think sports and outside of sports, uh, business, just even in personal relationships or just establishing, you know, a rapport, a bond, even with family. Communication, consistency uh, is key with anything. If you communicate and uh, know how and understand how to communicate with, you know, uh, your peers, coaches, and, and be receptive to uh, constructive criticism, then I think you, you give yourself an opportunity to grow, um, not only as a person, but as an athlete at the same time, because there's, there's always communication in, in everything that we do. And I think if there's a, a, a great, I guess, rapport or great lines of communication where it's harmonious, and, uh, and I think being able to listen instead of being so quick to, to respond or speak, um, then I think, you know, things will, you know, you'll see a lot of things a lot clearer. What do you think, if you think about that idea of skill set and mindset, what's your edge over everyone else? I'm sure a lot of athletes that have, you know, obviously achieved an amount of success, I think when their doubt creeps in or there's naysayers or there's doubters, I think the, the best thing that I ever did, I ever did, obviously, I think was believe in myself. Uh, that's first and foremost. I saw and I listened to what the coach, you know, uh, said and they saw in me, which was uh, a lot of potential. Um, and I just wanted to build on that. And so um, with me, I think, you know, if I didn't have the, the, the coaches that pushed me, um, pushed me beyond really kind of, I think, my own limits or my own expectations, I don't think that I would have become uh, the receiver that I became. Um, I don't think I would have, been this guy that became T.O. Bay Packers. I think that instilled uh, a lot of confidence in myself that I could play and I could play on a big stage. Um, it didn't. It didn't start out particularly well, but you know, it's not how you start; it's how you finish. And so, for me, that mindset of just not wanting to quit, not wanting to succumb to uh, just the ebbs and flow. Uh, of, of the game and, uh, you know, disappointment, um, having short-term memory. Um, nobody's perfect. You're going to have those days. Some days you're going to have it, some days you, you're not. And it's the great ones that look beyond that, that, that mistake and just have short-term memory and go to, the next, that, you know, go to the next play as if the bad play just didn't happen. You have your average, you have your good, and you have your great. And so, uh, there's a f little small percentage and a window uh, of athletes uh, that really go beyond 
um, you know, the stratosphere of just being just good and allowing just your athletic ability and talent um, take you to where you want to. It's a relentless pursuit of greatness. Oh, my God! 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 O